Jenny and Summit are back on our screens and I, for one, am delighted. Yay! We join them two months. Best two months. After their wedding day. Now, for as enjoyable as those two months have been, Summit gives us some advanced warning that their happiness might be about to come crashing down. It's only two months, but I'm enjoying my married life. I don't know for how long, but <laughs> right now I can say that I am enjoying. I don't know for how long. Oh, don't you worry, Jenny. It's not going to be long at all. What's the cause of Summit's fear? I think as my parents don't know about it. Oh, yeah, I can certainly see how his parents not knowing that he's married might be an issue. We're worried that his parents will come to find out that we're married through someone else. So they'll come and try to take him away. They've done it before, and I know that they're going to try and do it again. If my parents come to know uh, through someone else, they might never talk to me at work again, and I don't want that to happen. I cannot live a happy life without my parents. I cannot live a happy life without my parents. So, despite living his best life for the last two months, and despite leaving it two months, behind Jenny's back, Summit decides that now's the time, with the camera crew present, to break the news to his family. I don't want to spoil this happiness, but the thing is, now it's too late. I already uh, invited them. They are coming. Surprise! <laughs> but don't worry, Jenny, it gets even better. Not only are Summit's family coming tomorrow, but he's also invited them to their old house, a house they haven't lived in for two months. Guys, just a suggestion. You might want to skip that meal and start cleaning immediately. Oh my god. <laughs> now, did anyone else notice just how much Summit was touching his beard during this conversation? That form of face touching or self-soothing is something that many men do when they're very stressed. While we have seen Summit do this in past seasons, this one seemed very extreme. In fact, it has me quite worried about him. Summit, give me a sign if you need me to send help. <laughs> you don't think I'm sweet? Huh? No, you are super sweet, actually. Yeah. Yeah, Jenny's very sweet and also very innocent. I feel like this. she's very innocent. <laughs> innocent? Yeah. <laughs> that being the case, despite how innocent he might think that Jenny is, Summit is still very aware that his parents don't like her. So, in advance of their meeting, he gives Jenny some advice. If you want my parents to like you, just shut up. <laughs> I know my parents. If you say anything, they will... If uh, I they, say anything? Yeah, as they don't like you. Your you parents can't uh, listen, accept listen. that I okay, have things okay. to say. They can't listen, just sit there and be quiet. Yeah, we all know that that's just not Jenny. I don't know what innocent fairy tale you've got in your mind, but I'm sorry, Summit. If Jenny has something to say, believe me, she's going to say it. I'm supposed to just sit there and be quiet and you know, take all the abuse. How do you tell me not to even talk? See, this is what I'm worried about. I think you're more on your parents' side. And having gone through this many times before in the past, Jenny knows exactly what's about to happen. The problem is, Summit's in denial. If I want my parents uh, to be with me, to love me, I have to keep trying that. When you tell them that we're married, it's gonna reignite the anger and things are gonna get really, really ugly, I think. And so we come to the main event. It's nearly time for Summit to break the news that he and Jenny are married. But first, they need to get the house ready because they don't want a repeat of last time. The question is, whose genius idea was it to host the meeting in a house they haven't lived in for many months? The production crews, maybe? How is it really a mess, you know what? Yeah, really. Very dirty, very dirty. You know, my mom checked mainly corners, so clean the corners first. Okay, well, I can't get into the corners. Poor Jenny. She clearly doesn't like cleaning, and TLC are determined to expose her for it. I don't need to be judged. But, Jenny, whether you want to be judged or not, judgment is coming. I'm so hot from being in the kitchen. And that, Sadna's very first words to Jenny, sets the tone for what's about to come. 
हाथ देखो कितने मोटे होते हैं So much for standing up for your wife, Sumit. Someone needs to hand his mum a mirror so that she can see how fat her own arms are. Still, at least Jenny's been given some good advice by her husband. Remember, stay quiet, don't speak. So, remember the last time you guys were here? Yeah. And we went and had that nice talk in the park. What happened with that? What I understood was that you guys were uh, accepting me and that you loved me. Oh no, Jenny! <laughs> Now you've really gone and poked the bear. Just look at the parents' reaction. Now, while Jenny's right, they did have a civil, possibly even a nice conversation last time they were round. It was clear to us all that Jenny was getting carried away. Just because Sumit's parents were being nice, that didn't mean that they were accepting of her as a daughter-in-law. Now that that niceness has clearly worn off, Sumit's mum makes her position very clear. तू कर भी करेगा ना शादी मरते दम तक नहीं कह सकती मैं कि तू शादी कर ली इससे सो वेन सुमित ब्रेक्स द न्यूज दी हैज गॉट मैरिड हिज मम टेक द न्यूज वेल एट ओर आपको बताओ मैं तो शादी भी कर चुका हूं अगर मेरे दरवाजे पर तू आ गया इतनी बेजती करके भगाऊ तेरे को नहीं ना Oh, the drama! I don't know what Summit was expecting, but it probably wasn't this. I can't wait until next week to see how this one plays out. If you enjoy the drama as much as I do, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you on the next video.